For the last couple of decades, astronomers have discovered many mysterious objects in space, and they have reported encountering weird creatures. While some of the mysteries have been solved, others remained a mystery. The recent discovery of an interstellar visitor may change our idea of outer space. Will this interstellar visitor be the only one to come, or are there more? Stay until the end to find out. Welcome to our channel, where we provide you with facts related to space. Before heading on to the video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you may never miss any of our updates. Astronomers have seen several odd phenomena through studying outer space, comets, detecting density, and calculating solar winds. The solar system has been a particular region to observe several objects in space. Space debris like asteroids have been discovered many times, but scientists recently noticed the presence of an interstellar visitor. This visitor looked strange as no one had seen it before in the history of space exploration. This mysterious interstellar visitor was named Oumuamua, after the Hawaiian term for scout. The Oumuamua was discovered on October 14, 2017. A strange cosmical object flew past our planet for five days without anyone noticing it. It was accidentally seen by Robert Work, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Hawaii Institute of Astronomy. He discovered the interstellar object with a panoramic survey telescope and rapid response system called PAN-STARS during its nightly search for near-Earth things at the Halikala Observatory, Hawaii. The National Aeronautical and Space Administration, NASA, after spotting the moving object in the PAN-STARRS image archive, found the moving object in the previous night's image. Although it wasn't previously identified when it gathered all the information and submitted the picture to the planet center. According to astronomer Zdenek Sekanina, the object has a rotation rate close to the average spin rate in solar system asteroids. Still, many valid models permitted it to be broader than all but a few other natural bodies. The Oumuamua was seen to have strange components. Its speed was unusual, its orbit was out of place, and the object was also made of weird properties. A Hawaii Institute of Astronomy graduate, Marco, also had some follow-up images taken at the European Space Agency's telescope on the Canary Island of Tenerife. When the data were combined, everything made sense to conclude that it was a weird object that came from outside the solar system. A scientist from the NASA Center for Near Object Studies, David Fanokia, commented on this discovery that the Oumuamua is going extremely fast and on such a trajectory that we can confidently say that this object is on its way out of the solar system. He even said the object's orbit was irregular as an additional force was pushing behind it. The Oumuamua is a small object estimated to be 100 to 1,000 meters long, with its width and thickness both estimated to be between 35 and 167 meters. It is red, similar to the object in the outer solar system. Despite its immediate approach to the sun, Oumuamua shows no sign of a coma. It has displayed non-gravitational acceleration certainly due to outgassing or a push from solar radiation pressure. Oumuamua entered the solar system from the north of the planetary ecliptic. The pull from the sun's gravity caused it to speed up until it got to its maximum speed of 81.72 kilometers per second as it passed south of the ecliptic on September 6, 2017, where the sun's gravity twisted its orbit in a sharp turn northward at its closest approach on September 9th, at a distance of 38,100,000 kilometers from the Sun. The rate at which Oumuamua traveled was so fast that the scientists couldn't discover it earlier. Another reason Oumuamua wasn't found earlier was because it is so dim and small that it had already flown past our planet before it was discovered. 
Before the discovery of Oumuamua, there have been several theories about objects like this in space. Thomas Zerboken, the Associate Administrator for NASA Science Mission Directorate in Washington, confirmed such ideas. He said there had been speculations about interstellar objects like Oumuamua, and the object's discovery further confirmed their existence. As there was a short time left to study the Oumuamua, telescopes worldwide were called into action to observe the color brightness and orbit. Viewing from a ground-based telescope was essential to get the best data images. Even the European Southern Observatories with very large telescope interferometers were called on to follow Oumuamua. The European Southern Observatory's telescope was combined using four divergent filters with those of other large telescopes. From there, a team of astronomers discovered what varied in brightness by a factor of 10 as it spins on its axis every 7.3 hours. A team led by Karen Meech from the University of Hawaii Institute of Astronomy said that no asteroid or comet from our solar system differs so widely in brightness. The same thing with its length and width. Meech commented further that the massive difference in brightness means that the object is very long, has a complex shape, and is ten times as long as it is wide. They found a reddish color related to some things in the outer solar system. The telescope result also discovered that it was chemically inactive without the slightest hint of dust around it. Speculations about the Oumuamua being a comet continued to rise among scientists. Still, since the telescope observation did not see it produce large, fuzzy comet-like tails synonymous with comets, such a hypothesis isn't accepted. The Oumuamua not being a comet has raised a question in all journals worldwide. And the question is, was Oumuamua a block of solid hydrogen, or a new class of interstellar object, or could it be an artificial construction made by an advanced extraterrestrial civilization? Like Avi Loeb, a professor of astronomy at Harvard University, has proposed. While these theories were circulating, Avi Loeb and his colleagues researched their suggestion. The study talked about the chances of Oumuamua being created by an advanced civilization. Avi said that the object's behavior is similar to a comet but does not have gravitational acceleration from the sun. They further explained that Oumuamua is an artificial thin solar rail that could increase its speed through the force of solar radiation. Although other scientists seem to disagree with Avi about his theory, they claim there is not enough evidence to back up his research that a tumbling solar rail would not have the capability to accelerate. However, Avi moved on with his research he published a work that explained the six irregularities of the Oumuamua, with reasons why it differs from asteroids and comets that have been recorded since the inception of space exploration. Since the study was published, scientists have used the Spitzer space technology to determine how much carbon outgassing standard comets have. In simpler words, how shiny a normal comet hits these observations have results explaining that Oumuamua shines 10 times brighter than a normal comet. With all these observations applied, there is still inadequate data to support or oppose his theory, but many astronomers don't believe it to be true. So, the debate rages on. As the debate continued, new theories came up about the origin of Oumuamua. Among these theories is the hydrogen ice with such a load of hydrogen, the sun's heat transforms it from a solid state to a gas, making the Oumuamua travel through space at their speed. It also explains why there is no comma around it. A scientist said, this theory would make the comma very hard to notice through a telescope because the atmosphere thins out its wavelengths. Another thing that makes the idea believable is the object's shape. Any refining process would make Oumuamua lose an incredible amount of mass, resulting in it being elongated and cigar-shaped. The hydrogen ice theory sounds believable, but a factor makes it unlikely to be true. This is because of a proposition that states, the sublimation process would evaporate the ice faster, 
This object has been flying in space for too long to be composed of this material. There is also another theory known as the nitrogen ice theory. This theory explains the possibility that Oumuamua is a medium-sized piece of nitrogen ice sailing through the final frontier. It also describes why the Oumuamua does not have a trail behind it. Nitrogen ice could have originated from Pluto, a planet that used to be part of our solar system, but is now regarded as a dwarf planet. Supporters of this theory proposed that a fragment of an exoplanet broke off and fell into our solar system. They could also explain that the nitrogen ice could survive five million years in space and can show sunlight, which explains why the object is gleaming. Since Oumuamua has been spotted, researchers have doubled their efforts hoping to spot a similar object in space. An astronomer at Yale University, Greg Laughlin, also noted that billions of entities like Oumuamua could be drifting through the Milky Way. Scientists are looking forward to more sightings of these interstellar visitors, and it might not take long before more interstellar visitors come knocking. Space is full of mysterious phenomena, and astronomers always take their time to discover new objects or any glimpse of an alien civilization. The discovery of Oumuamua is a result of scientists' constant research. However, some believed more objects like Oumuamua would come into our planet. Even a large Synoptic Survey Telescope in Chile is scheduled to come in the next decade, which will be scanning the night sky extensively and could spot another Oumuamua. What is your opinion on the discovery of another Oumuamua? Thanks for watching this video. Do tell us your views in the comments box. For more educational videos like this, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future updates. See you in the next video. Bye.